Hi Virgo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-month money and career tarot reading for the month of May 2022. So mid-May, if you will. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for the remainder of your month, so just take what resonates. But as well, thank you in advance for your love and support in the form of likes for this video, comments down below, and of course subscriptions to join this uh, amazing Virgo tribe if you haven't done so already. Now, as I catch my breath, which I feel you'll have to do in the remainder of this month, um, to book a personal reading with myself, just reach out via email. Everything you need is down below in the description box. I'll definitely get that started for you. If I could say it right, I'll definitely get that started for you as I messed with spiritually. You might as well in the remainder of the month. But we're going to begin and keep it simple by pulling from the uh, Tattoo Tarot deck. For my lovely Virgos, money and career for the remainder of May. Okay. We have the Four of Wands and the Page of Pentacles at the center of your reading. I feel as if you're pushed to recognize that what you just began or are beginning uh, within this month is meant for you. Whether it's a financial investment that you're moving towards or just embarking upon, or it could be a new job with this Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, and we do have the Empress card here at the bottom of the deck. You could find that what you're um, starting uh, or started recently, however it works for you, is out of respect for, for the benefit of moving towards something big that you want to give birth to, okay? They're saying move a residence, so therefore you could be picking up an extra job or starting a new job in general um, or taking your business to the next level in order to make more money, okay? I feel like there is somebody making you a little bit on, on edge, a little bit nervous in the month of May in general. Oh, I just feel a little bit frustrated uh, for you within your energy. I, it could be somebody you're living with around your residential situation. It could be at a work uh, location. However it works for you, just breathe and have patience as the Four of Wands reminds you that everything is falling into place. And I feel like you're going to be thanked uh, and or welcomed to a situation uh, quite gracefully. Okay. I feel as if people are seeing your talent, your wisdom and seeing the value that you hold for an opportunity. Your third eye is opening as well, and I feel as if you're being pushed to recognize that if there's a time limit, okay, if there's a time restriction for a goal to be fulfilled, for something to be accomplished or multiple somethings, you have time on your side. It may not feel like it fully, but you need to breathe and recognize that stressing over it is not gonna help you accomplish it quicker nor is it going to help you manifest the completion in a smooth manner, okay? Time is on your side, my friend. As I do feel like the remainder of the month uh, somewhat uh, pushes you to reflect on your Hall of Fame to an extent. I know that sounds dramatic, but your achievements, your uh, slip-ups, the disappointments, right? To remember how far you've come. Uh, I do sense that you just have been through a lot and it feels like the opportunity that we've been speaking upon or even more so for a lot of you, this represents that Empress card, right? What you want to give birth to down the line is more aligned for you. It feels like the end goal, the um, the end uh, aspiration, if you will, all right? A lot of fulfillment in your future, I feel the need to say, as there is a wish fulfillment for you uh, to expect, okay? Let's put this right here. The Knight of Swords, it feels like in the midst of going after what you deserve, uh, just accomplishing what you need to, exuding very responsible energy, I'm not surprised, organizing, um, discovering, informing, okay? You may even find that without meaning to, you're teaching people um, this and that, uh, filling in the blanks for people, even if you're in a new job um, or aren't fully uh, used to a situation, just because you've worked similar positions or just know a lot as a Virgo, all right? With the King of Swords, you're definitely a very wise individual and people, again, are respecting you. And it may feel as if things in the recent past have been a bit rocky or a bit difficult or just not, uh, they're saying a bit stagnant, not kind of moving in the direction of uh, benefiting oneself. But I do feel like things are starting to loosen up for you and you're starting to see the way. You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel or they're saying uh, on the other side of the curtain. 
with the eight of pentacles here it's a uh, remainder of the month of may where you're just putting in that hard work focused on your money focus on your career and there's nothing wrong with that someone might chime in and give you a piece of advice on how you're working or just how much you're working while others feel you could be working more it's like yeah okay everyone's gonna have their opinion everyone's going to feel as if they know better for you what's better for you than you know for oneself but it's like there's a need to trust your intuition your instincts what how you feel more than uh, to let that outweigh the opinions the judgments of others when it comes to someone critiquing your work keep an open ear because it definitely could be an authority figure or even a customer or clientele that can just be so frustrating i get it i've been there um and just they're saying no at all but um just allow for yourself to keep an open ear and just don't let it go to your mind, your heart, your soul. Just proceed and do what you know will give you the best results and help you accomplish the work at hand most productively, okay? Uh, they're saying you're a Virgo, don't forget, okay? Okay, interesting, it feels like, again, there's this wish, this ultimate goal, this change you desire. Uh, however it ends up working for you, I feel it as if you're pushed to recognize that your North Star, your inner compass, it is guiding you at this time when you get that discomfort in a situation to the point where you move on when you feel the inclination the need the push from the universe or from one's uh, internal situation um, interesting uh, internal compass once again to uh, upgrade or to add on to your situation um, to get you to where you need to be you're it's like you're being pushed led in the right direction just trust that and there's a need to keep the hope alive as I feel like sometimes it does dissipate, um, leave your situation just slightly when um, there needs to be an immense amount of um, faith within your heart and soul, okay? Because you are manifesting a lot at this time as I do feel like you are pushed to with the night, a lot of movement, okay? Because we did have the night of swords as well. It feels like especially towards the end of the month. Your guard does come down a bit and you feel a little bit less defensive or a lot less um, depending on what kind of Virgo you are. But I feel as if you're recognizing how bold and how passionate you've become, right? Um, something you don't expect to be ultra passionate about to wrap up the month becomes a passion of yours, even if it's a temporary one, okay? Um, allowing for oneself to recognize that um, everything you've been through has led you to this opportunity, okay? And you need to just keep your eye on the prize. The Three of Pentacles talking about how people are noticing you for switching up your career, for not settling, for just being the uh, most strategic version of you. And I just feel like once again, this does speak upon um, levels of judgment and critique coming in. Um, people just uh, joining the peanut gallery, if you will. But I also feel as if uh, people are potentially looking over your shoulder or observing your work, um, but in a positive light, on a positive end for this card, for this reading, people, if you work online or run a business or even work a day-to-day -day job, could be multiple opportunities once again. You People are noticing you for your skill sets, your talent, for how much you're growing through your work, okay? They're saying don't stop. At the bottom of the deck, it feels like you don't have this ultimate passionate fresh start you desire moving forward. And don't be surprised when the second half of the month or just depending on when you're watching, it could be the last three weeks of the month um, or so. It just feels like you are feeling less anxious than you once did or once would have in an opportunity like the one at hand that you're wrapping yourself up in. It just feels like you know more from what you've been through once again to the point where you can just achieve with ease. And so therefore, don't let someone else, especially somebody uh, who's trying to convince you to uh, do something in a more stressful way, just because they would, been there recently, trust me. Do not give in to that, okay? You know how to achieve without stressing at this point, so do just that. The proof is in the pudding is what's coming through. The results, the beauty of your work, that's where um, you'll shine in the end. Proving them wrong, essentially, um, or just showing them that Virgo's way, as they show me the Knight of, um, of Wands in a different deck in the Light Series deck, marching to the beat of Virgo's drum is gonna give you the, the credit, the rewards you deserve, okay? And when time comes, I feel as if a lot of Virgos are going to 
jump on their chariot and go towards what they deserve period okay sailing away from what no longer works for you or you, what you know intuitively won't work in the end moving forward okay um you could find that there's just a bittersweet ending on the horizon and or that you just experienced okay um don't be surprised if you do feel a bit depleted i mean we are in um mercury retrograde in the second half of the month right it's beginning on the 10th of may and i just feel as if you're thinking about endings new beginnings and manifesting more of which okay and that ju it's just because you are simply growing and realizing or and or remembering that realizing or remembering that settling isn't the way uh to to go about your money and career situation okay i feel as if there's a big financial investment that you desire moving forward keep your eye on the prize okay and recognize your ships are coming in and that's all that matters okay your ships are coming in not just one is what i'm hearing as there's two here but it could definitely be more all right and it feels like you're given an opportunity or you feel as if you could celebrate certain victories uh strides right uh, certain levels of financial improvement taking place within your situation but things don't feel as colorful as they could especially at the end of the month but do recognize june will be a much better month for you so just keep your head held high as you work a ton and do what's right for you and do it your way okay so i hope this was truly helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already go have yourself an amazing month as you do have a lot of options and a lot to accomplish and i'll see you next time bye virgo